Hey, peace, love, and light, my beautiful, beautiful Scorpios. Welcome, welcome, welcome to First Eye Visions. My name is Q, and I am here to pick up on the energy, see what's coming and going out, going on. We are now uh, entering into the weekend. I hope you all had a beautiful week. Um, I've been getting a lot of downloads, so I've been pumping out a lot of videos. Um, today, I was uh, called to do this reading. And it was very interesting because I was pulling my cards out of the boxes just so I could be prepared. So you don't have to watch all that on camera. And um, as I pulled out the Psychic Tarot deck, these two cards were uh, hidden in the Psychic Tarot deck. And the card that um, was on the bottom of the deck for the Psychic Tarot was the Empress, which is the fertility card. And so I do feel like a lot of you um, Scorpios are dealing with a situation where you may have um, a karmic that is kind of like watching and stalking you. Um, this energy here, witching hours, 3 to 5 a.m., and it says stay protected, and then you have miss stress, and it says is what they call me, and I answer to it, no shame. So this is someone who kind of takes pride on dismantling and breaking down a home, a household. Uh, this is the type of chick that thinks it's cute to steal somebody's man or to try to seduce someone's husband um, because they feel like that's a position of power so they may use sex they may use um you know that's pretty much their only tactic and technique is to use sex is to lure someone in with sex so uh very strong incubus succubus energy and unfortunately uh for some of you out there um you know your person or your ex has fallen um victim to this this game this is something that this uh, energy will do to anyone. There's, she has no, or he has no loyalty, being that it says mistress. I feel like this is, um, you know, dealing with a masculine who is stuck with a karmic or who has a karmic in the background. And this karmic is doing some sort of spell work to separate. She's doing like separation spells. She's doing freezing spells. She could be burying, um, you know, energy together uh, to cause conflict in a marriage, uh, to cause a separation or a divorce. Um, so, so for many of you all who are still in a marriage, who's just, you know, looking at YouTube videos just for guidance, to seek guidance, I strongly urge you to do um, protection spells on yourselves, on your marriage. Um, definitely uh, do reversal spells. I'm hearing strongly in my mind's eye because there is someone who is like very adamant and they're using moon cycles. So I do feel during the um, new moon, um, this person has been utilizing that energy uh, to really manipulate, you know, manipulate not only your energy, but your person's energy. They definitely have like a love spell on someone. And so if you feel like you know, for whatever reason, you've had this feeling or this notion um, that somebody, you know, like your person isn't acting like themselves or that there's just more tension than usual or that whenever you try to have a conversation, it just immediately goes from zero to a hundred, you know, meaning the, 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 you know, the, the disagreement, the conversation tends to go left. It's because somebody's manipulating it's, they're manipulating this energy. And with the sirens going off, that's confirmation. So the sirens were going off at the same time that I was explaining this. So if this is for someone in particular. You all know who you are. This is not, um, this is not for everyone, um, you know, because this is a general reading. But I did want to expound on these two cards because, as I said, they were in a completely different deck. So I do feel like these messages wanted to be found, Okay. This goes in a deck that I created. So I'm going to put those on the bottom of the deck and I'm going to give my cards a bang, bang, and boogie. So I just wanted to expound on that. For anyone who may be new, welcome. My name is Q, as I said. Um, I too am a Scorpio. I am empathic. I am intuitive. And I am clairaudient. I do listen to music 
and incorporate it into the readings. Um, right now, we have Dragon and Toast, um, and this is called, um, what is this called? Oh, this is called Dragonfly. So this is called Dragonfly. So I don't know if any of you are in a warmer climate where you may be seeing dragonflies, um, you know, where you may be encountering those beautiful animal totems. But look up the spiritual meanings of uh, that uh, particular animal totem because I do feel like there is a message specific for you from the divine. Um, so um, also this is a general reading. So that means eat the fish, spit out the bones. If it doesn't apply, please let it fly by. Do not try to force a story to be your story. Know that you're more than just your sun sign. So check your moon, check the rising, check your Mercury, check your Mars, check your other placements to get a more detailed message for yourselves. Right now we have Aaliyah, I care for you. Um, so there is um, a notion that you have someone that does still care for you. And as I was picking up, someone could be manipulating energy. And your person is finding difficulty coming to you or coming towards you because they may have some sort of spell work or they may be um, blocked by this karmic who is up all night conjuring up some shit to cause tension. So that's why the divine is giving you the message to protect yourselves. As I said, that message will re um, resonate with some of you all. Um, this is also timeless, so whenever you find yourself clicking on this video, that is exactly the divine timing intended for you all to do so. So before I go any further, I would like to call upon the elements of water, fire, earth, air, ether, and spirit, Ashe. I ask our beautiful angels, archangels, ancestors, ascended masters, deities, soul uh, our beautiful soul family, animal totems, earth, mother Gaia, universe, source, the divine, most high God, our creator, to shine a powerful, powerful message of love and of light. I call personally upon Baba Obatala and Mama Oya to bless me with the intuition and discernment of my cards. Help me to pick up on the energy, the number, synchronicity, and vibration of my cards. And so it is, so mote it be. Ashe, Ashe, Ashe. So um, what I'm hearing is to expound on what the name Aaliyah means. Uh, because as I said, the name of this song is called I Care For You. So there is someone that really truly cares for you. And the name Aaliyah means highest, most exalted one. So in someone's eyes, you are the highest most exalted one. You are rare. You are like the supreme being. Um, and someone knows that. This karmic, whoever this energy is that I'm picking up on, they know that. They know that your person or your ex or the person that you may be in separation from, um, they know th that your person feels this way about you. And your person is trying to send you messages uh, I feel through the music, intuitively, through dreams, telepath uh, telep uh, telepathically, they're trying to send you messages like, hold on, um, be strong, because that's what Ali is saying right now. And um, hold on, stay strong. I care for you. So it's like, even if you're in separation, ah, now the messages are coming, beloved. So give me one moment. Let me get some water because my mouth is already dry. See that? Somebody wants to say something and it's like somebody's interfering and manipulating so that they cannot. So give me one moment. So what I'm picking up, someone is in a karmic situation. They want to get out. They're trying to figure out a way. But what they're doing is they're sending you messages that they still care for you because there is separation and they have not been able to reach out because they have this crazy deranged karmic that they know is not only watching them but they know they're also watching you and so they know how this person feels about you the karmic is fully aware that your person now i'm feeling 
that this is someone that you're meant to be with. So this is telling me that this is like a twin flame, a soulmate, a very strong spiritual union. But you two are in separation. So I don't know if this is someone that you have met in a past life. I don't know if this is an, an ex that you are in separation from Scorpios. But this is someone that you have a very strong connection with and you two are meant to be together but your person got caught up in a karmic situation and the karmic is batshit crazy crazy enough to do spells to try to separate you and your person because they know how much your person loves you and so they're trying to interfere and um, manipulate the energy to keep you all separated right now we have changes I've been going through and this is by Mary J Blige so for some of you all your person has been going through some changes and what they've come to understand is that they want to be with you according to what Mary J Blige is saying all the changes I've been going through because I want to be with you so they're going through some sort of changes because they may have like you know maybe their body language you know has changed up with this person this karmic um, and the karmic is picking up on that because as I said a karmic is only going to use what they know how to use which is sex seduction you know trying to entice someone um, they use sex to get what they want it's like a leverage it's like a bargaining deal and for many of you um, the person that you're meant to be with was very weak they were very weak you know flesh is weak beloved so it's like the flesh is weak so they fell for it every time so whenever the person started to kind of buck up and say look I'm out or you know this ain't working she would throw it on them real hard or she would do those love spells or she would do those separation spells because she knows that your person is in love with you they want to be with you they care for you but the karmic is trying to block you two from coming back see that and they're trying to block me because my throat is getting blocked so they're trying to block see they're watching tarot readings also not only on your person but they're watching tarot readings on you Scorpio because they know about you they may have run across some sort of um, pictures they've run across some sort of um, information some intel they have some intel they know about you put it like that they know about you and they're trying to manipulate this energy so before I go any further we're gonna go ahead because <clears throat> I was just picking that up just intuitively and we 12 minutes in already so on the bottom of the deck we have sky father see that and there's an eagle on this deck and so the eagle is what the divine is telling you to trust in the unknown so so th that's what the divine is saying she's saying see what I've been going through because I want to be with you so your person is going through like they going through hell with this this karmic the karmic is putting them through the ringer and it's because they want to be with you they want to come towards you but she's blocking it and I feel like your person woke up to this because they weren't always um they weren't always like they didn't always have that that truth. They weren't always aware of that. I feel like there was something that kind of triggered them. And I feel like, you know, there was something that happened. You know, maybe there was some news or something happened because I see these, you know, the thunderbolts. But this is like truth, clarity, understanding, seeing things from a different perspective. Sky father. So your person is very intuitive. They picked up something intuitively. And so we have hunter. And it says, track down your fears and desires. So this is what your person is doing. Like they're literally, they're being, you know, like they're mustering up the strength, the courage to go after what they want because they want to be with you. They want to be with you. And this person knows that your person has um, these feelings towards you, that they want to be with you. And so they're trying to do everything they can. And I feel like, you know, whoever it is that is your divine partner, Scorpios, I feel like there is a sense that um, they're fighting for you. You know, you may not know this because as I said, I feel like you all are not even in communication at this time. And so this person is just honestly like, you know, privately, quietly, you know, trying to send you like telepathic messages or maybe you feel their energy strongly. Like you may find yourself thinking of this person all the time. 
And if you're not thinking about someone specific, you're just thinking about relationships. You're thinking about being in a partnership, in a love ship, in a dynamic with someone that you could share your life, share memories, share, you know, just share time with, you know. And so you may feel this way strongly because someone is making their way to you. They're coming towards you. We have the high priestess. See that? So you're picking up energetically, intuitively. This is what you're picking up. You, you, this is like she knows all. She is the keeper of ancient wisdom, ancient knowledge. And it says harness mystic power. So you are a very mystic being. You are very mysterious. You are very clairvoyant. So it's like trust your intuition. I feel like many of you, you're preparing for this person. I feel like you're very, you know, because this beautiful cat, cats are impervious to threat. So it's like even if someone is throwing anything at you, I feel like you absolutely are blocking it, you know, because it's almost as if she's holding up this, you know, this, um, this beautiful wand or this magic staff to block out negativity because you're the keeper of the ancient wisdom. So it's like you know that somebody is either trying to work against you or they're trying to block your blessings. Right now we have Rihanna Diamonds. So someone definitely sees you as rare, as precious, as beautiful. And it was just 1616, 1616 16, 16 reduces to 7777 7, 7 reduces to 4. Uh, 14 and so that reduces to 5 um, I said 1616 so it's 1616 that's 7777 7, 14 14 is 5 so definitely somebody wants to communicate to you someone wants to tell you how rare you know how loving you are how beautiful you are how much they how much they care for you you know how, how they see you as you know this this exalted being this beautiful rare gem and this person is unable to communicate this to you so they may send those messages via like i said via their your dreams maybe you find yourself dreaming of someone in particular you know but with diamonds i do feel like there's a lot of pressure your person is under but it's going to create diamonds pressure busts pipes but it creates diamonds and i feel like that's what you know this circumstance it's been of like a tough journey coming into this union but i feel like it's going to be so precious so rare so beautiful so let's go ahead and get some messages so divine spirit of love and light there's a lot of messages coming out for you all intuitively wow and so we have elder it says move beyond ancestral patterns so this is about you know like following and then we have lady enjoy growth and reap rewards so this is what a lot of you feminines have been doing in separation. And I feel like your person has also, you know, been, oh, and so the elder card just jumped out of my hand. So this is your bonus message here. Move beyond ancestral patterns. So I do feel like your ancestors are very significant. You know, they're reminding you, they're reminding you that you are a diamond, that you are rare, that you do have a purpose. I feel like some of you all also have uh, been communicating or seeking guidance from your ancestors. You know, maybe you have a sacred space that you devote a lot of time, that you meditate in front of. I also feel like for your person that's trying to come in, they too are kind of like seeking wise counsel, instruction. And I feel like this is someone who is like kind of like also... Um, moving in, you know, it's like, it's, it's like they're doing something different. It's like they're cut from a different cloth because it's almost saying like, it says move beyond ancestral patterns. So this is almost like telling you to create your own lane, create your own path, you know? And, uh, and so we have, what is this? TI 40 acres. And this is by TI featuring Rossi and Killer Mike. And so 40 acres, that is, you know, what uh, indigenous black folk, you know, some would call us um, Moors. Uh, this is what we were due, uh, due to slavery, you know, so that was supposed to be like a part of the reparations for 
um, going through uh, slavery, enduring the, the slavery. So I do feel like there's, you know, this is almost saying that there's like some sort of re reward when you, you know, do things uniquely, you know, go against the grain is what I'm hearing. And then we have arrows, surround yourself with protective energy. See that? So for many of you all, I do feel like you all have, um, there is a sense that you all have someone really working against you and your ancestors are telling you to do things, um, to do things uniquely. You know, whatever you're called to do, you have to do it in terms of your protection. Some of you all may need to, um, you need to work with sigils. You know, you may need to have certain protective images and symbols, you know, around your home just to amplify the protection. You know, you need to smudge your mirrors, you know, because a lot of people use, um, a lot of people use like, uh, they use um, mirror, mirror magic. So you may you need to use different techniques to fortify the protection around you, like fiery walls of protection. So let's go ahead. That's just what I'm picking up. Let's go ahead, cut the deck. So divine spirit of love and light. Let's see what we got coming and going out, going on for our beloved Scorpios. Look at that. So you have lady. So many of you are very successful, very abundant. It was just 2121. So a lot of you, I feel like you all have manifested uh, the success. You've worked hard because 21 reduces to 3. 3, that's 6. So this is um, about harmony. 6 is your first chakra, uh, your first eye chakra, excuse me. So it says enjoy growth and reap rewards. So for many of you, by trusting your intuition, it led to some level of success, abundance, prosperity, growth. This is like expansion. Some of you ladies are, um, you have locks. Some of you ladies have, you know, been able to reap the benefits of your hard work because you stayed resilient. Maybe you did do something very uniquely. Um, but I do feel like you are, this is very much like, you know, uh, the queen of pentacles energy to me. So you're very resourceful, very practical. Um, you know how to manifest and with 40 acres, maybe some of you ladies have your own farm. You grow your own produce. You know, you have like a green thumb, maybe you're herbalists, maybe you're vegan or you're vegetarians where you focus on your health and wellness. I do feel like there's a lot of abundance surrounding you and I do feel your ancestors are very protective over you and they have like given you some sort of um they've they've like there's a seed that was planted in you and that's why you are having the success because you've been activated to your mission your soul's mission or purpose because it says move beyond ancestral patterns and so maybe some of you all took uh some sort of like something that was a part of your legacy, your heritage, um, and you took it to the next level, to the next step. And it's like, it's bringing forth a lot of abundance, prosperity. I also feel like many of you are very, um, yeah, you all are very, see this, look at this, wait for important information. And just as that said that, my phone was ringing and then I got a voicemail. So the divine is going to give you some sort of download with Oracle. I feel like you're receiving downloads from your ancestors. And I feel like it has something to do not only with, you know, how to make, um, you know, how to make money, but how to grow your business. Also how to protect yourselves. There's very important information. Maybe some of you all are uh, scryers, you know, because she's looking into, you know, this steam and it provides, you know, very, um, it provides intel, information, you know. Many of you are very powerful because you had the high priestess, now you have the oracle. So you could be like, you could be um, clairvoyants, you could be psychics, you could be channelers also. But you have some psychic ability. And that's why I feel like the divine is telling you to trust your intuition strongly when it comes to something because it says, wait for important information. So it's like there's information coming in. Um, 
and with that message coming through on my phone, you will receive it. And we have Super Lover C and Casanova Rudd. And this is called Girls, I Got Them Locked. So this is like, this is to me what I'm hearing, the way that I'm hearing that is that whoever this person was that you have this divine connection with, I feel like this person was like a playboy. This was a playgirl, playboy. Um, because Casanova is like somebody who likes, you know, they real suave, they real smooth with it. They know how to like, you know, yeah, shorty, you know, you know, how you, what do you, what do you think about me taking you out to, to dinner? You know, you ever been to, you know what I'm saying? You never, you, you ever been to what's that? J.F. Pang or whatever the hell? I don't know. Uh, but it's like it's somebody who's like real suave with it, right? And the same thing applies to the female, like I said, but she tends to use her sex, you know, as the hook, you know, the hook and crook. And so with girls, I got them locked. I feel like this was somebody who thought they had something locked down. So she could have been calling up her girlfriends like, girl, this dude is sprung. I got his ass sprung on me and he woke his ass up. So it's like, a sleeping giant, you know, he's awakened to something like, wait, hold up. What am I doing here? What am I doing with you more importantly? And I feel like this feminine is picking up on it with this, you know, Oracle, this also could be speaking to, uh, someone, you know, going to an Oracle or going to some sort of spiritual practitioner, trying to get information or trying to get them to do some sort of work, some sort of spell work to separate, you know, to cause separation. And perhaps, you know, there's, um, you know, they're getting some real powerful information about that as well. So let's see what we got coming and going out going on, Divine Spirit. So Divine Spirit of Love and Light. All right, thank you. So we got a couple of cards that just flew out. We're going to take those bottom of the deck. Look at that. Sky Father is back there. So this is saying trust in the unknown. So trust that, that, you're, that the divine, that your angels, your ancestors are working behind the scenes to bring forth protection, to bring forth clarity, to bring forth the truth that you are seeking, because I do feel like they're protecting you. There's no doubt about it. And right now we have lifetime. So this could be someone that you do have a connection with from a former lifetime. This is by, um, this is by Maxwell. So I do feel like this is a past life connection and someone is fully aware of that, which is why they're trying to separate you all or come in between this powerful union. And so what we have here is autumn, release the old and rest. So for some of you all, I feel like this person needs to let go. They need to let go of whatever this is that they are entangled with because this has caused a lot of frustration disappointment confusion and it's caused them you you know in a lot of ways um with this lifetime i do feel like in this lifetime you and this person will come into union but they have to make the decision to leave something that is dead stinking and buried um these leaves these are dead you know one because once the leaves start turning uh they fall and they die and so it's as if the divine is saying that something is dead. Whatever isn't growing is dead. And so this person is fully aware. I feel like your person, whoever this is, whether you've met them before in this lifetime, like Maxwell is saying, or in a former lifetime, like Maxwell is saying, I feel like they are coming to the realization that they need to release this toxic situation and they need to rest because they truly want to express something to you. They want to communicate and they want to say how they truly feel. But because they are tangled in something that's toxic, they must first deal with that. And they're fully aware of that. And I know that because as I said, with these moons, like remember I was picking up on the fact that somebody was using moon cycles to do spell work. And because this is a black bird, black, definitely speaks to you know protection um it also could you know denote that your person um has had some sort of download that there was some sort of ritual work being done 
because birds are very intuitive. They can see things from, um, you know, they get an aerial view, so to speak, to look at things. So they get a very great, they get a good projection of, you know, what's going on. And so I do feel like someone has kind of awakened to some truth, you know, so they realize like, oh, I got to get rid of this shit. So here we have, look at this fire garden. It says, ignite your passions. So this person now is feeling this passion, this fire, this desire, this urge. It's, it's like it's calling them. It's pulling them. It's tugging them. And they cannot unanswer the call anymore because this is something that they tried to push down. This is something that they tried to ignore. And again, as I said, with that Casanova, maybe in the past they were so used to being like the playboy. They like to be, you know, or the playgirl. They like to be heartless. You know what I'm saying? I don't, I don't love them. I leave them, you know, type of attitude. I just, I don't love them. I leave them or, you know, that type of energy of the, just being a player, like taking pride and breaking hearts. I feel like now there's a sense that someone is, you know, kind of feeling this passion you know, kind of feeling this strong desire, this strong urge to, to come towards you, to, to even just answer, um, whatever that, that urge is within themselves because their, their, their thirst isn't being quenched where they are. You know, it's as if that they, they've been awakened to some sort of truth. And with this fire garden, like this is like, you know, almost like that king of, of fire, um, and the king of wands is an uh, is a go getter. It was just thirty one thirty one, and that's forty four. So some of you could be seeing four four four. Uh, for some of you, Scorpio is your birthday or your solar returns was November eighth. For some of you, this is someone who could be born in um, April on the fourth, um, or this could be someone who was born in the eighth month. Um, you know, in August, um, because with this fire reference. Um, whatever the case, I do feel like there's someone taking their power back because this fire sign is a go-getter. They're action oriented. They're very persistent, resilient. They take lead, they take action and that, they, you know, that's the type of energy. So I feel like there is a sense that someone is kind of like finally taking their power back, you know, because the way his hands are, it's almost like he's rediscovering that he has the power, that he possesses the power, that he can you know, channel the energy to go and get what he wants. And he's even rocking like what appears to be like wings, you know. So the beautiful thing is that, you know, he's getting assistance with this. And that could be like the reason why the elder is here because it says move beyond ancestral patterns, you know. So maybe he's been soliciting, you know, the assistance of his angels, uh, his spirit team to kind of break free from whatever this curse this hex was, um, and now we have Ari Lennox up, uh, up late, and so with up late, like I said, somebody is up late manipulating the energy, this too could be someone kind of like manipulating the energy again, as I was picking up, and so with that card, those two cards that came out where it said witching hours, uh, there was definitely someone trying to manipulate the energy, this is someone who is a control freak, someone who's trying to control the narrative, control a person, 31, 31, I mean, 33, 33 on the clock, excuse me. Uh, so some of you could be seeing 333, three, three. Um, but that 333 three, three, three reduces to 12, um, and that reduces to 3. So this is a third-party scenario, and I do feel like someone does want to reunite with you, is really strongly urging um you know, maybe somebody done called your name out in their rest, you know, or maybe somebody mistakenly, you know, called your name during intimacy, during sex with this person. Um, I feel like your person, whoever this is, um, as I said, like there's something that's shifting within them, something that's changing. Um, they've awakened to the truth, you know, They've awakened to the truth that this connection that they're in does not cut it for them. And so whoever this person is that they, the karmic is, is up late nights, up all night, like literally trying to manipulate the energy to block the two of you from coming into union. That's strongly what I'm feeling. And we have Earth Guardian. It says stay rooted and grounded. 
So this is about, you know, you not allowing somebody to take you off your square. I feel like your person is also fighting very hard to stay focused with the task at hand. Um, so you have almost like uh, a lot of assistance, not even almost, you have a lot of assistance. There's a lot of angels that are assisting um, the two of you all. Um, because I do feel like this, as I said, is a strong spiritual connection, union, like a, 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 the yang to your yin, yin to your yang. So this is a very strong spiritual connection. And it's 7-7 seven, seven on the clock. So I do feel like the two of you, especially with the earth angel having this like what appears to be like jade right at the first eye. I do feel like there is um, a very powerful uh, angel that is working to bring clarity and truth and illumination to the power, the depth of this connection, that it be it goes beyond um, this lifetime, as Maxwell was saying. Um, for some of you, this could be an earth sign or a fire sign. Um, for some of you, it could be another Scorpio because I see autumn here, or it could be like a Sagittarius. I mean, it could be anybody. I don't want to uh, that's why I don't really go into that because you all know who you're dealing with. Um, but with this lady, I feel like you all are the main lady, the main attraction. This person has definitely awakened to the fact that they have these feelings. But I feel like for you all, because you've stayed rooted and grounded, uh, because you've been in alignment, you've now come into harmony. And I feel like in many ways it has activated someone to take action because this um, this earth angel, this earth guardian is like carrying a staff. So I do feel like, you know, he's, uh, you know, activating you and your person, bringing the two of you into union. Uh, someone is definitely uh, becoming very clear and illuminated to this connection. And he's holding his heart chakra. So I do feel like, you know, there's um, a very strong love ship, love connection that is, um, that is developing here. And so we have um, mountains, stand your ground. So this is very much, you know, what this has been the journey. You know what I'm saying? It's like this has been the journey. Standing your ground is like standing up for what you believe in, not backing down, you know, fighting for your cause, you know, speaking your truth. Um, and also like when something doesn't sit right or feel right, trusting your intuition and not wavering. Um, I feel like there's been a lot of, you know, turmoil, a lot of, you know, disagreements. Um, if you do know who this person is, because there's been someone kind of manipulating this energy and they've been doing this for a long time without even, you know, without anyone knowing. And that's why I feel like there's, you know, divine intervention here with these two angels you know, because this is a spiritual union. It's like if the divine is like literally putting you in the alignment with someone or putting you in alignment with another person and somebody's manipulating this connection, um, then they're going to come down and they're going to, you know, send, you know, you some guardianship so that you can, you know, absolutely attract what's yours. You know, it's like somebody's coming in between and trying to block this as I was picking up and withstand your ground. I feel like this is exactly what your, you know, your person is starting to do. They're starting to wake up to like the fact that that connection they're in is just toxic as hell and it's been drama filled and it's been nothing but just sex and drinking and it's been just, you know, um, dark energy. You know, they haven't, you know, there's been no elevation, you know, and so what we have is Sade, I couldn't love you more. So with this energy, this person is realizing they couldn't love you more than they already do. Because this person, believe it or not, the karmic has, you know, is the one responsible for activating um, your person, Scorpio. If you have come into, you know, if you have, if you are familiar with who this is, they're the ones that have kind of triggered your person to looking at things. Um and, and, and being more discerning, using discernment. And now you got air guardian. You have all the guardians pulling the stops. It says shift your perception. So exactly. So this person now, see that? See this? They're standing their ground and now the air guardian. Remember you had sky father. So the air guardian is helping someone to shift their perception. And why? Because now they're seeing things 
as they are. Whatever isn't growing is dead. These leaves, autumn time is when, you know, this it's it's like this that is the um the beginning of colder weather. So when things are going cold, they're naturally, you know, the, the foliage around you starts to die. It starts to wither and die. And so this person now, as they start to open up their eyes to see or open up their first eye to see, because birds are also very intuitive, then now they're starting to see clearly that there's been a lot of manipulation, that there hasn't been any growth, you know, that there's only been just like this dark energy of sex. Um, they also may have come to the realization that someone has been manipulating their energy. But you have earth angel, air angel, fire angel. The only angel you don't have or the only guardian you don't have here is water guardian, which is very interesting <laughs> because you are water signs. But I feel like that's because you have to master yourselves. You know, you have to trust your own intuition, Scorpios. That high priestess showed up for a reason. And so that means that you are the keepers of ancient wisdom. I always think of high priestess as scorpionic energy because you're so psychic and clairvoyant. So this is about trusting your own intuition and you got to help yourself also. You know, the guardians can step in and they can protect you from the unknown, unseen, which is what I feel you all are doing. But I feel like there's also a sense that your person also has to, because maybe you're this, now that's what just came to me. I feel like you're the water guardian for your person. You know, these angels are coming in for the both of you to protect you from anyone manipulating the energy, but you could very well be the, the water guardian for your person because they're the ones that are still kind of like blocked. So you being activate, you know, you being in harmony, excuse me, and activated is now awakening your person. They're now opening up. Uh, to what the truth is. They're starting to look at things for what it truly is. And so we have Odyssey. And this is called Our Lives Are Shaped by What We Love. If that is not the most profound message. And so what that is saying to me. So what your person loved at one point in time perhaps was maybe having a lot of attention. Having a lot of women. And that's probably why they've had to go through a lot of difficulties. These mountains denote difficulties, trials and error, struggle, strife, drama, trauma, arguments, fighting, uphill battles. Like this has been like very burdensome, you know? And so when you're just chasing something superficial, um, it isn't going to feed and nurture your soul or your spirit. And it's 42, 42 on the clock right now. That's six, six. So that's 12. That's three again. So that third party or having multiple women, multiple men, you know, definitely wasn't as fulfilling as this person thought. So when he looks at his life or when she looks at her life, they're realizing that they're unfulfilled. And they're also recognizing that when they felt most fulfilled was when they were in this loving partnership. That's why this earth angel is bringing someone down back to earth like because they've been like up in la la land so this earth angel is giving someone you know they're activating someone's first eye chakra awakening them to the truth telling them that you have to take control which is why this is now you know it's next to the stand your ground because they have to stand their ground because like i said he's holding his heart chakra so your, your lives are shaped by what you love. He's realizing he's unfulfilled emotionally. And so when you stay rooted and grounded in what's um, in your purpose, in your, um, in your truth, then you're going to follow your heart. You're going to follow what feels right to you. And you're going to stand up for what you believe in. You know, you're going to stand up for that. You know, and so with this, you know, shift your perception, that's where the activation took place because the guardians were giving someone some major downloads. They were being activated. They were being triggered. Maybe, <clears throat> see, my throat is getting blocked. So someone's trying to block them from waking up to the truth. Someone is, you know, listening to music and the music is literally like waking them up. 
you know, music is their sanctuary. So they listen to music and it's like the lyrics is speaking to their soul. Four, 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 four on the clock again. That's eight, eight. So that's 16. That's seven. So someone is definitely getting downloads. They're getting divine intervention because that seven is a crown chakra. So, and look at this. Biz Markey, just a friend, rising power king. So with just a friend, this person was definitely, for some of you all, you all could have been just friends. But there was always this unspoken chemistry, this unspoken connection. Maybe the two of you never took things to that next level. Or maybe you did, and then you all just kind of like stopped communicating. And I feel like it's because someone was running from this relationship or running from the connection. And they're realizing how much they care about you or that they love you. Because remember, Aaliyah was saying, I care for you. And so remember, I broke down the name, the meaning of Aaliyah, which is highest, most exalted one. So I feel like you were the highest, most exalted one. My throat is getting blocked yet again. This karmic does not want your person to communicate with you. They are trying to block this connection. And that's why the divine was telling you to stay prayed up and protected. Because you all have to use um, some sort of protective um, techniques to not only protect yourself but to protect your person as well because it says move beyond ancestral patterns so you may have to do something very unique something very unique in this situation here and with sky father again let's see what's underneath sky father see this sun and magic are oh wow look at this magic guardian look at this these are the cards on the bottom of the deck sky father so this says the trust in the unknown, then you have sun, enjoy success and happiness, and then you have magic guardian. It says unlock the magic within. And what was I saying when I said the divine is telling you all to use very unique um, skill sets and talents? It was just 4646. So that 1010 is speaking to, you know, some sort of um, ending. So you have to help someone, you know, cut some sort of karmic cord. You have to assist them. Because I feel like they have a lot of confusion, you know, and then we have this oracle. So they are, you know, they got someone manipulating the energy and you have the power because the divine is saying, look, unlock the magic within. So you have the power to block this person trying to, you know, trying to get information on you, intel. They're going to someone to get some sort of intel. You know, they're going to some sort of psychic. They're going to some sort of channeler and there goes your energy right underneath that what did i say heart guardian it says love and let yourself be loved so you have um really powerful abilities to help your person by just merely loving them this is this is potentially somebody that was a friend scorpios um y'all may have had this connection and you may not have taken things, like I said, to the next level. But I do feel like this is a spiritual union, partnership, connection. Um, this person was afraid of love, which is what I was picking up. Afraid to be vulnerable. They were so used to being the Casanova, the smooth, suave, player, playerette. You know, they liked, you know, they so they thought they liked, you know, not having strings attached. You know, until they bumped into your ass. And then that chemistry was something that they couldn't deny. You know, but you made them feel loved. You know, a lot of you have a very loving, nurturing, healing, you know, energy about you. Your energy, your vibration is just very loving, very nurturing. They see you as someone very abundant, very self-sufficient, very independent, very caring, very wise. You're like a wise soul, I'm hearing. So let's get some messages from the um, Psychic Tarot. And this was the deck that those two cards initially were in. As I told you before, this fertility card is on the bottom of the deck. So you are absolutely that divine feminine, divine masculine energy, which means that you have definitely elevated, graduated, leveled up. So you've gone through your own karmic lessons. You've learned those lessons and you've mastered thyself. So this is why you now have the power and the ability to awaken and trigger your person to you know, start moving towards you. Right now we have Shante Moore. This is called Weigh You. And this is from the Waiting to Exhale. 
So a lot of you are waiting, you know, like I said, in suspense or waiting. You know, as I was picking up earlier, I felt this sense that a lot of y'all was kind of like, excuse me, a lot of y'all was just kind of like thinking about love or, you know, just kind of like romanticizing about, you know, just having a partner. Or maybe some of you all who, if you do know who your person is or are aware of who your twin flame is, you know, maybe you find yourself constantly thinking of that person. They're always at the front of your mind, the back of your mind, running across your mind. Or maybe this is someone that you dream of constantly. You know what I'm saying? It's not a day that goes by where this person does not just run across your mind. And it's because this connection is very real. And with this fertility, I feel like this person is thinking of you as well, which is why you're thinking of them. Because you're picking up on their energy. They're in your energy field. And so this person wants you to wait for them, you know, and a lot of you have been waiting to exhale. You're waiting in suspense for the reunion, for the union. For some of you, you may not even know who this person is, but the first time you meet them, you're going to feel like you knew them all your life. And it's because you knew them in a former lifetime, like Maxwell was singing. And all of these angels coming out, all of these guardians coming out in the reading is also suggesting that. That this is a very powerful spiritual connection that you all are a part of. This is beautiful, man. And with this earth, look at this fertility. And then you have deception and envy. See this? Somebody is very deceptive. Somebody is very envious of who you are. Who do you think that is? Who do you think is hating on this beautiful divine feminine? Regardless of it being a masculine, it could be a feminine also. You know, this could be that karmic that's up late nights, like Ari Lennox was saying, you know, during those witching hours, conjuring up some shit, going to oracles, going to psychics, trying to, you know, pay practitioners to block this connection. They see you as a threat. You're beautiful. You're abundant. You're successful. You're showing up twice as the lady. This is the divine feminine. See this? You are the divine feminine. There's no denying that. And this person is jealous and envious. And so they're wearing a mask. And so what, what were they doing? They're wearing a mask because they're trying to block. Look at this. This is what's on the bottom of that. They're trying to block someone's throat chakra. So they're conjuring up some spell work. Look at this. I cannot make this shit up. Everything I just said. Every fucking thing, I, part of my language, but it, this fucking energy, look at this. Everything I just said, deception and envy. So they're deceiving someone. Why? Because they're trying to block their throat chakra. My throat, the whole reading has been getting blocked. And I'm, I'm good. I'm good. Like, I, they, I don't got nothing going on. But it's because somebody's trying to block someone from coming towards you, from communicating how they truly feel. This is a tower moment. Disruption. So this tower is eventually going to come down, regardless of what they're doing. This person, this is like seven deadly sins. This to me like is like devil energy. This is someone who goes around pretending to be something that they truly aren't. And with ex waiting to exhale, it's like you're waiting in suspense for your person to wake the fuck up. Or for your person to free themselves from this toxic shit. You are the divine feminine. You are over here busy manifesting, creating you are abundant, you are successful, you are a master manifester, you are powerful, you're beautiful, and you know your worth and value, and you're abundant at the same time, which drives this person even more upset, because they're tuning in, they're watching you, this is why they're envious, because they're watching you do whatever it is that you're doing successfully, you're having some level of success. And this karmic is trying to interrupt that. That's why we had witching hours and it said to protect yourselves. Stay protected. And that's why this fire, these walls, it's like this. she's protected mind, body, and soul. And this is the heart, you know, the heart knows all. Remember, the guardians are protecting you and your person because there's true love here. This person is green with envy. Because they know that your person does not love them. They love you, which is why they're turning their anger, their frustration towards you. Which is why they're trying to, like I said, do freezer spells. 
This is why they're trying to block your person. So they're trying to cause tension, drama. If you do know this person, who this is, whenever you communicate, it turns into an argument. And so we have um, Music Soul Child. This is called Better Man. So they don't want your person to be a better man with you than they were with them. Maybe they realize that your person has become a better man and that's what they hate most, you know? Because as I said, you know, I feel like your person was probably like, you know, to play it, you know, going out, partying, having fun, socializing with people. And maybe that's how you, this person, you know, met them. They probably met them at a bar, met them at a club, met them somewhere where there was a lot of drinking involved. And this person, you know, like I said, they would just throw the ass on them because, you know, when you when you drunk and high, you know, that's sex. That plays a major part. People make a lot of foolish mistakes under the influence and end up with baby mamas and baby daddies that they hate, that they don't even know, that they can't stand because they was drunk, you know. And like I said, that incubus succubus, they're going to throw that sex on them. This person is very much aware. They are aware that your person wants to reunite with you. This says rejoice in celebration. They are aware that you and your person are meant to be together. And they, that this person is a better man with you. That they have evolved. That you have something to do with that. Because like I said, not only are they watching. Maybe they looked at your person's like history on the computer. And they saw that they was going to your social media sites. I just picked that up. I don't know where that came from. So I guess somewhere in the settings, um, you know, like on your um, internet, um, what do you call that? Internet service provider, like on your uh, Chrome or Bing or whatever you use as your internet service provider. Like there's a way to go to the settings to search someone's history. So I feel like somebody's like really doing investigative work to that degree, going to their delete, you know, to their bucket. What do you call that? The, um, to their, um, to their garbage, you know, whatever you call it, like to the bucket to see what, what they're deleting. They're going to the, like they doing a lot of research and they found some shit about you. And so we have this patience. So the divine is telling you good things take time to create, Right. So this person is being like, you know, the divine is like pruding, you know, is pruding your person. They're, they're pruding and prodding and preparing them for this union. This 14 breaks down to five. Five is about change. So someone is definitely changing, you know, because they've seen the light. The light has awakened them. This 19 reduces to 10. So they know it's time to reach for the stars to go after what they want. You know, to stand their ground. You know what I'm saying? To to get out of a situation that's not feeding and nurturing them. To release the old, you know? Because when they release this, this karmic, they can't just come rushing back to you. They're going to have to release this karmic and they're going to have to take some time out to heal. That's why the divine is also telling you, patience. Good Patience is a form of action, but good things also take time to create. So your, while your person is going through this process... And your angels and guardians are, you know, preparing the way, the path for you all. You both need to be working on yourselves individually so that when you do come into union, you are two whole beings and you have a, a, a beautiful love connection. But with this light, that's the sun. So that's the truth, the clarity, someone awakening to that truth that it's time to end something. Whatever isn't growing is dead. So they know it's time to end this, this toxic, stagnant, negative, low vibrational energy. And so we have prophecy, and this is by Fabian. So this is prophetic. This is like, you all know this. I, I'm not telling you nothing you all don't even know. I feel like you know this in your bones, in your spirit. You feel it. You can sense it. And I feel like for many of you all, you're just anticipating it. You're waiting for that opportunity. I'm going to shuffle this again. Or, oh, wow. Oh, my goodness. Look at this. I'm going to see these. These all flipped over. And look who's the first to flip. See this? Deception and envy flipped over. So I'm going to put that in the same. Oh, my goodness. So this person, this deceptive person, that same person, 
that was doing that spell work up night, late nights, you know, during the witching hours. This is why your ancestors are saying move beyond ancestral patterns. So it's almost like they're giving you the green light to pull out all the stops to protect yourself from this person. So even if that means you all may need to go to an oracle or a practitioner just to fortify your boundaries. But I also feel like they was telling you to start doing your due diligence to research some really effective uh, magical um, spells to protect yourselves. Because remember, you have that magic card on the bottom of the deck, which was saying that you have this magic garden and it says unlock the magic within. So I do feel like it's like they're giving you the green light to, to protect yourself from this person because this person is absolutely batshit crazy. And they're like, they're turning into like obsessively, you know, stalking, watching you, but your ancestors are fully aware and protecting you. But they're also telling you, you got to protect yourselves and they're telling you, you can do so by whatever means necessary, as long as you stay, you know, righteous, you know, righteous and just in your acts, but you have full, it's almost like they say, look, you got the green light to do whatever you got to do, you know, to protect yourselves. Of course, you got to stay within the, 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 you know, within the, the, the boundaries of the karmic law, universal law, um, you know, but this, this individual is like, they're green with envy and they're absolutely using a uh, deception. You know, they could be like making up stories and lies and um, trying to keep your person. But look at this. See this throat chakra. This person wants to communicate so badly to this divine feminine, to this divine masculine. They want to so badly. But you see this black border. I feel like it's because somebody is doing some sort of magic spell work to block their throat chakra, to block them from expressing some sort of truth, blocking them from saying what they truly feel. And I feel like ultimately this is, you know, going to break, you know, cause this border is, you know, is thinning, you know, so, and I feel like, you know, the more you awaken to your power and the more you do to protect yourself, protect them as well, you know, um, just literally do a reversal candle and do a protective um, ritual for, and just say my person, my divine partner, if you don't even know who it is, because they're going through something right now and they're trying to make their way to you. But it's almost as if somebody is really manipulating the energy to block them from communicating. But I do feel like this person will eventually free themselves and they will express something to you. And I feel like it's going to make you happy. It's going to make you very happy. Because I feel this connection, as I said from the beginning, was one that was divine. And with the sun here on the bottom of the deck, along with, you know, the sky father, trust in the unknown. It's like they're letting you know, like, there's some things being worked out behind the scenes for you. And you may not be aware, but then again, you are aware because you're Scorpios. You're highly intuitive. You came out as the high priestess. But this is going to bring you a lot of happiness, a lot of success. You are very abundant. And I feel like that's another reason why this person is jealous and envious. And we have patience here on the bottom of the deck. So this connection, this union has taken a lot of patience. It's been taking a lot of time. You know, and it's because your person has been going through uh, a dark night of the soul journey, same as you. Right now we have partnerships and um, alliances. So what did I say? They have to now break free from this connection. This is the number three. This is the third party, that karmic. So they're looking at this connection, like I said before, from a different vantage point, from a different perspective, just as this shift your perception here. So now they're looking at it from, you know, different vantage point. Like, hey, you know, is this connection really as solid, you know? Does this person really hold me up, you know, encourage me to be my best version? Do we really have anything in common? Like these are the questions that are being posed. This is what this bird is thinking of. But what they realize is that, you know, whatever isn't growing is dead. You know, the leaves are falling and, the, and there's a phone call coming through. 
you know so this means that you know whatever this connection is whatever this dynamic was you know they're realizing like they they have to go um you know towards what their passion is because this bird is looking directly at uh ignite your passion and so look at this wisdom wise don't so they've learned something from this dynamic this number five is they need to change this circumstance whoever this person was that they was dealing with they've learned a lot the sun is shining so they know that they have to change this they know that they need to follow their passion they need to return to something someone that's loyal faithful trustworthy honest communicative emotionally intelligent it's almost as if your person has also been going through some sort of learning lesson like they've been evolving because they're wearing this this uh, purple cloak and purple is the color of the crown chakra so that is like you know wise don't this that's being intuitive that's trusting one's intuition that's being discerning that's following your own gut instinct your own inner gumption and the inner gumption is leading them to their passion to what they truly are passionate about to learning that they cannot remain in a partnership or a connection even this card has purple around it they know intuitively that this connection is dead because this is the autumn card release the old and rest so they have to rest from this karmic relationship this third party relationship this toxic relationship because they know that they're unhappy they know that they can be happier this person, it's almost as if they're like envisioning, you know, a life, you know, envisioning this happy family, you know, this happy house, happy spouse dynamic. You know, that's about legacy, building a legacy, building a nucleus, planting roots and seeds, because this is exactly what this earth angel is reminding them. Remain rooted, stay rooted and grounded. And in this connection, there was no roots, no grounding. You know, this could have been, like I said, just very... Um, sexual orient, you know, like sexual orient. Uh, how do you say that? It was just like um, sex based. It was all based on sex, based on lust. Interesting. Wow. So let's see what else we have. So with this patience, we all know good things take time to create. So I do feel like, you know, both of you are being patient. I feel like this person is definitely learning because he's carrying that book, you know? And these could have been things he's learned. You know, some of these uh, belief systems could be things that, you know, he's been, you know, this is, is particularly like how he was raised. You know, this could have been like part of his, um, you know, how he was raised, the environment he was raised in. You know, like I said, with this dog, you know, maybe he was used to being a dog, used to being, um, you know, someone who was just like very playish you know, player-esque, like just had that player energy, very, very manipulative to get what they wanted, not really thinking about other people or thinking about, you know, someone's feelings, just, you know, getting what they want. And now they're awakening to the bigger picture, which is the ultimate, you know, the ultimate satisfaction, the ultimate, you know, success is having a family, you know, having a support system, having success, you know, having people to share it with, you know, loved ones, you know, people that care for you, you know, and I feel like that's something this person has come to, to realize is like, you know, these little sexual relationships and connections, these little immature, superficial situations did not hold them down, did not excite them or hold their interests. It may have piqued their interest initially, but it could not hold their their interest for a long period of time. And it's because they were longing for something more, especially with this, you know, fire garden guardian. It's like their passion was still it still went unquenched, you know. So why is Earth Guardian here for Scorpios, Divine Spirit of Love and Life? Why is Earth Guardian here? Divine Spirit of Love and Life. Why is Earth Guardian here? Divine Spirit of Love and Life. See that? Nobody's saying anything. Okay. Look at that. Passion. Passion ignited. Same thing that this card is saying. So stay rooted. So someone's passion. They're becoming aware that they, 
you know, they have this, this, this quench and look, the heart chakra, the heart chakra. So there's this, this fire and this desire, this attraction, this urge, you know, it's like something erupting within them. And the heart has two chambers. <clears throat> so my throat is getting blocked again. Somebody doesn't want your person to come in and express how they truly feel. And this number one is definitely telling me that this is someone who could see family, legacy, all of that with you. This is also telling me with this purple that this person is messaging you, communic communicating with you telepathically, especially with this, you know, this green ruby. They're sending you love. Remember, I care for you was playing, you know, and this could have been a friend, somebody that you knew or know, maybe somebody you worked with because that, you know, this card of earth is like, you know, that's like, you know, that's like the pentacles energy. So this could have been somebody you worked with, a former colleague or someone you may live around, a neighbor, or this could just be with the number one, you know, somebody that is an ex, is a former lover, is a friend, and you just don't know they have these feelings. See this? Trapped in fear. Someone's trapped in fear because they got somebody manipulating their energy, you know, keeping them bound and stuck, making them feel this confusion, this eight. This is self-imposed. They could easily leave this circumstance, this situation. But they got to change their mind. That's why this mountains, whoever this is, they've created a bunch of drama, a bunch of negative, um, you know, just beef, just arguments, just unnecessary disagreements, just causing a lot of turmoil for no reason. And it's because they know this man is unfulfilled. This number eight, like I said, they want to communicate, but they have to stand their ground. They're up in their head a lot, ruminating, pining. And they're in their head because this is the blue, a blue card. So it's like they're not communicating what they want to say. And that's why it's causing them fear. I mean, that's why it's causing them anxiety and frustration because they're not expressing. Like I was saying before, it's like they're suppressing. They're repressing and suppressing their true feelings, true, true thoughts, true emotions. And it's because of the fears. They're trapped in fear. And they're trapped in fear because they have somebody manipulating their energy. But what we see here is the fulfillment of wishes. This air guardian, it says shift your perception. So this person is eventually going to snap out of it. They're going to see something that they may have missed before. And I feel like that's why the divine is telling you, to do your due diligence because the more you work on yourself, the more you activate and trigger and awaken your person. This person, you see how the light is shining? It's starting to light up this dark room, this darkness. It's like the, this light is about to reach them and they will become illuminated and they will realize your wish fulfillment. This number nine is about wishes being granted having abundance, having success, having all that you desire, emotional fulfillment, financial growth, elevation, abundance, success, expansion, opulence. This is like lucrative business deals. This chest is like the divine is rewarding you, rewarding you, rewarding your person with the unknown. And both of these waterfalls, I feel, represents not only you, but represents your person and the deep emotion, the deep love that the two of you share. And this connection is absolutely a blessing. This green card de definitely suggests that there is not only emotional fulfillment, but there's love. There's a love here. And there's a positive change that's taken place. You also have material and spiritual prosperity. So that's why I was picking up that Scorpios, that some of you all are, you know, the ones that have to activate your person. Someone wishes to return to you. And I feel like they're coming back to you because you have stand, stood your ground, because you have done your due diligence. So because you have had some major um, success, because you've reached a level of self-mastery, because you've stood your ground, stood erect, took your power back, you've healed past wounds, past traumas, and now you're in harmony, you're in equilibrium, you're now activating someone. 
to return. It's like they're returning to you. You know, this is why the divine was telling you to be patient because everything that you desire is coming in. Your person, look at this, solitude. So they're going to take that time to rest after they release this person that they've been partnered up with. They're in hermit mode right now. And so they're learning. They're also learning. And what they're learning is that, you know, you are wish fulfillment because this is the number nine. You know, they're in a very protective bubble, but they're doing some deep dives. They're doing some soul searching. They're taking those internal self audits, but they're also becoming aware that they need to right their wrongs. These same mountains that are behind her are here. So this shows that your person absolutely will be coming out of that space of fear and will be making the necessary changes and they will communicate. She's wearing a blue dress. So there is going to be, you know, some communication once they receive, you know, that aha moment, you know, that epiphany. Because this, this is the hermit. So the hermit goes, you know, and sits in silence and quiet and rests to, you know, gather deep, deeper understanding and awareness. And that's exactly why this wisdom card is here as well. So it's like you have sparked their mind. You've gained the wisdom, the wise dome. And so you've triggered your person to also seek the same because you're going to attract another like mind. You're, you're attracting someone who's going to be on your vibration, on your frequency. That's going to be in your, on your caliber, your caliber. This is not going to be somebody that is just a da -dun -da -dun. You're attracting somebody on the frequency. This person has put a lot of the troubles, the difficulties behind them. They've put that past person behind them. They've made a conscious decision. They realize that they have wish fulfillment. Look at this. Wish fulfillment is here. Hope. So their hope, holding on to hope, you know, being optimistic, being steadfast in this process is leading them to wish fulfillment. That's why you have here fulfillment of wishes. And the fulfillment of wishes is not only granted to one person. It's granted to both of y'all. I see duality here because these two waterfalls and it's water just streaming up. And then I see duality here with water falls streaming down. So it's like you two are matching one another's energy. And it's because you both have had to heal thyselves. And by healing thyselves, that means you've turned, you know, your vulnerabilities into superpowers. That means you have been activated and awakened into the truth or to the truth. Now that you're in alignment, you two can come into partnership. You could come into union. And if you look right in the middle, you can see that there's like this angel. So there's an angel granting this beautiful wish. The 17 breaks down to eight and eight is all about wish fulfillment. I feel like you've manifested this. You've taken the manners into your hands, into your heart, and you've changed the circumstance. The alchemist knows how to change thoughts into reality, knows how to master manifest whatever it is they desire, knows how to utilize water, fire, earth, air, and ether. That's why the divine was telling you here, unlock the magic within. So as you unlock the magic within and you see her, her shirt and her wings, it's like you have activated your person. I see like, this is almost like a heart shaped. So it's like your love, your tenderness, your care, you know, the way that you've loved this person. That's why you got, you know, this, um, enjoy success and happiness because it's like you all have, um, you definitely not only have you completed uh, a cycle, but I feel like you, the, the changes you've been going through, just like Mary J. Blige um, was singing, those changes you've been going through to get to your person, it was like the divine has acknowledged how hard you have had to work, you know, to get through this. You know, it's, it's been like, it's been a battle. And we see that with the mountains here. And it hasn't been just a battle for one person. It's been a battle for both of you because you did have someone trying to manipulate, you know, the energies and trying to block out, you know, block the two of you from coming into union. And so look at this. What did, stand your ground. Both of you have the same message. You know, the messages are like literally repeating. That's how I know this is a, a twin flame soulmate connection because you two are mirroring one another. Stand your ground, stand your ground. Two different decks can't make this shit up and this is the he's reaching the peak of the mountain and this number seven why because he's trusting his intuition how because this guardian this earth guardian is giving act is activating him 
activating that first chakra to get them out of this state of confusion, of entrapment, of mental psychic, uh, psychic attacks. That's psychic attacks. That's why the divine was telling y'all earlier, like, yo, with this energy, witching hours stay protected. This is how you protect yourself and your person. And this is no one other than this mistress. This old hateful ain't got shit else to do, but doesn't even know, doesn't even have the wisdom, the wise dome to know what she put out there. She going to get back tenfold infinitely because look at all these angels here. You interfering with God's work. Look at this. So this person here, hating ass, they don't know what they are doing. They, they really don't. That's why they go into oracles and the oracles is just robbing their ass, taking their money because the oracles can see clearly. The oracles is like, oh, snap, all these angels around this person, I ain't doing shit. So whoever this karmic is, they paying somebody for nothing because the, the, the oracles can see clearly all the angelic presence. You ain't, you gotta be a fool if you try to interfere with all this angelic presence. There's no way in the world so it's like what you put out in the universe, you're going to get it back. Let's get a couple additional messages. And then we're going to wrap it up. I'm going to get some messages from, from the um, light seers. Because I pulled that out. And I want to get some oracle messages. So, I mean some um, tarot messages. Because I got the oral, oracle messages here. See this? Five of cups. Somebody's really deeply in pain, missing... You know, their partner, their person, longing for them. Look at this. Yeah, somebody's definitely feeling regret and remorse for their actions. See that? Look at this. Eight of Swords. I'm just looking at the cards in the bottom of the deck. And somebody's trying to hold on to this person. Really holding on, not wanting to let them go. Definitely got to do, um, somebody's being psychically attacked though. You know, and that's why the divine, I feel like because, and you're fully aware, Queen of Swords, you know, that's the first energy Scorpios will transform into after going through like, you know, some sort of painful ending, karmic lesson is like, you you know, and remember that Sky Father. So you got the Sky Mother, Sky Father. So there is a sense of knowing, you know, the unknown, you know, seeing what's beyond the veil, so to speak, you know. But nobody can't play with you. It's like you know. You can feel it. Sense it. Touch it. You went through a painful time. You was carrying all the burdens of a relationship. You're disappointed. Betrayed. Left out in the cold. But look. You're now having victory. Success. Because you remained resilient. You persevered. And you kept your eyes on the prize. You know. And that's why you have this big payout. And you will have a reunion. Like I said, this is a twin flame connection. This is the lovers. Look at all that passion. And look at that. You two balance one another. This is this is your, um, your karma is to come back into union. And I feel like this person is absolutely going to end up your husband, your wife. You know, because this is divine feminine, divine masculine. The divine feminine came out twice in the reading. And look at that. Temperance, baby. Good things take time to create. So now that you're balanced, your person has to now be balanced because that feminine energy, see that somebody is completing a cycle, you know, they're wrapping it up. See that smile? You all have completed your karmic cycle. And so your person has to also do the same twin flames, soulmate, spiritual unions, you know, spiritual partnerships. My throat is blocking again. There's is like there's a mirroring. So whatever you endured, whatever you experienced, your person is also going to go through that as well. See that? The wheel and the world. This was destined. This was preordained. This was a part of your, your life's mission, your purpose. And I feel things are starting to change for the better. There's a positive change taking place. Great fortune coming out. We already see that with wish fulfillment. We already see that with material and spiritual prosperity. This is a beautiful card. And this is why you're receiving it. Because you've shifted your perception. You know, you didn't worry about a problem you only thought about the solution to the problem so i'm going to cut the deck again bottom of the deck clarifying that card see that third party three of cups third party shenanigans 
and regret and remorse, thinking about what they had and they let it slip through their fingers. So whoever this was that got duped by this third party who was wearing a mask, who was being deceptive, who used sex as a weapon, the divine is telling you, move beyond your ancestral patterns to break this yoke. So whether that means by means of, like I said, you know, doing your magic, your spiritual magic, using candle magic, crystal magic, um, doing visualizations, writing petitions, calling on your angels and guides. It's like go beyond, you know, your usual techniques, even if you have to, um, you know, research certain um, spell work that you can do. You know, as long as, like I said, you stay in the line of, of universal and karmic law. You don't want to step outside of those boundaries where you're manipulating someone else's energy. Only focus on the self. Only focus on protecting yourself and protecting someone else. Um, I feel like reversal candles I heard earlier are really good. So you could do that as well. Um, but I do feel there's protection here. There was always protection. And there's protection here because there's a spiritual connection. This is like... This is preordained. This is something that you signed this contract. You and this person, you all have a soul contract together, period. But this third party, you know, interfered and interrupted with this connection because someone got, you know, caught up with some sort of incubus, succubus energy. And your person now is longing for you, missing you, crying over spilled milk. Um, you know, I don't even like that term. I don't know why I said it. But they're just kind of like, you know, feeling regret, remorse, shame. So why is this um, lady, the divine feminine and the throat chakra here? Who is this that wants to communicate with the divine feminine, divine masculine? So we have the queen of wands. So somebody will take action. This is somebody who's very attractive. They're a go-getter. Um, they are someone who... You know, I feel like in divine timing, because this, this queen is wearing a wand, I mean a watch. So it's like in divine timing, there will be some, um, that's not a watch, pardon me. Somebody will take action to come towards you. I do feel somebody is blocking them, though. There is the mistress. This is like a mistress card, you know. And remember what I showed y'all with the um, mistress, you know mistress is what they call me and you see how she's like manipulating this fire in her hand and she's holding the staff and the staff is very felicious it's like a very phallic symbol so it's like like i said like she's like um 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 what is it the girls the, the, the girls they love me or something like that was playing by supernova um casanova red supernova so it's like she knows that, you know, she, she, remember I was saying early, like, yeah, girl, I put it on him. He ain't going nowhere. That, that's what she's doing, manipulating the energy. And that's why this person is struggling to communicate to this divine feminine or divine masculine how they truly feel. If this is a f masculine energy, they're using some sort of sexual magic also. And right now we have um, ready for the world, love you down. As I'm speaking to this and my 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 thing had glitched and wasn't playing music and then it just started playing just randomly it stopped playing for a while I hadn't heard no music and I looked over and it was glitched and so I just said okay I don't have time and then I look at it again and then it, it starts playing let me love you down so someone definitely was dealing with a karmic who was using sex you can see here clearly and you see all these candles around her so she's using candle magic She's using rituals. She's up late at night. Remember, at night, late night by Ari Lennox. And she's doing what? Witching hours. She's manipulating, invoking energy. You know, this is exactly that energy. See that? Wow. This is crazy. And you know, it's like, look how you're looking. You know, this is you. You know someone had bit into forbidden fruit, but you also know that that apple is um it represents wise dome so you're fully aware and 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 with this beautiful it's like there's five um there's like a star in the apple and there's five so it's like you know that the situation is going to change it's almost like you're holding on to the fact that your love for your person is going to change the circumstance you're holding them down like you're holding them you know and you know this person is manipulating the karmic whoever this is you could feel it you could feel it. it's like a that's why i was picking up like a sixth a sixth sense 
you know, and I'm going to just put this on the top where it belongs because this energy is very strong in your energy. See this, the moon, it's a lot of secrets and lies. Something was exposed, which is why your person is now revisiting and reanalyzing, like they're analyzing this connection. Like, mm, do I really feel those feelings? This person hasn't really given me the, 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 you know, that tingly feeling inside. Nothing has grown since we've been together. Look at the lies, the secrets. You know, this is somebody also trusting their intuition. As I said, like sending messages telepathically, intuitively, having like very lucid dreams. And with Let Me Love You Down, I feel like, you know, as I said, you know, maybe the music is reminding them because this is called Ready for the World. So Ready for the World, this person is ready to end it with this person. Ready for the world. They're ready to end this connection. They're ready for a new beginning. Ready for the ending. Remember, release the old and rest. So they got to release this old toxic ass, stank ass, hoe ass energy. So why is um why is autumn here and partnerships and alliances? The tower. Can't make this shit up. This is the ending. This partnership is done done. Ready for the world. Let me love you down. So this person is going to try to throw the ass on them again. Let me love you down. You know, that's that break up to make up bullshit. But this time your person's done done. Whatever the divine steps in to, to tear down, to destroy, is done. And they're going to want to rebuild and re... Um, emerge you know because these even the you know the the sad thing about these this card is like even the the um well it's not really sad nothing's sad when it's divine intervention but these you know these um butterflies also were like you know they were burnt in this this fire you know in this tower they were struck so this connection can't transform you know like i said whatever isn't growing it's dead so it's dead you know this is a circumstance of the divine himself. As I said, when you against the divine, it's like peace be unto you, beloved. This person was doing so much deep devilment, so much evil, and they thought they was going to get away with it forever. And the divine is stepping in because your person was being held against their will by means of black magic, dark magic, you know, and we have, look at this, seven of swords cannot make this shit up. And now your person is waking up to the truth that they was stuck with a fucking lying ass, thieving ass, hating ass dog. Like, this is like, look at this. And now, look, this bird that's like watching, that's privately like planning and plotting, now they can open up their mouth. Now the mouth is open. Now they're going to express their feelings. Why? Because they freed themselves from this shit. They gained the wise dome. They see now clearly what they want. They see now clearly what they was dealing with. They were dealing with a dog. This was a, this was a hoe. This was somebody. And so now they can't deny their feelings, their passion. This is what this person was trying to muzzle or, or shut out, shut down, or suppress. Was how this person truly felt, what they truly desired. It was keeping them stuck and bound to them. You know what I'm saying? With this energy. Look at this, this, this hood. Whenever you have a hood on and look at this knife. Just looking to, to harm other people, snakes. It's just toxic energy. But your person got hip to it, you know? And that's why they're making the necessary changes. And that five also speaks to the throat chakra, like I said. So now they're wise and they're going to express their truth. They're going to express themselves honestly and passionately. With love you down, this person is coming to the realization because the sun is like, oh, they're seeing the truth. Like, damn, family is important to me. Having a partner that is loyal, because dogs also, you know, denote loyalty. You know, having somebody loyal and faithful and trustworthy and caring and passionate, honest and, you know, nurturing is, is important. Somebody that I can build a legacy and invest time and energy and, you know, that's what they're, they're, they're coming to the realization. So why is the fire guardian and wisdom here for Scorpio's divine spirit? Why is the fire guardian and thank you, spirit? So we got a couple of messages. So that, that four swords, see that? So this is your person healing. And look at that smirk. I don't see this as a sad card because I see someone like finally taking onus, finally seeing the truth. That's why this wisdom is here, you know, because you had to go through something painful. You know, sometimes the lessons are necessary. You know, it's like growing pains. 
And this is like, you know, whatever doesn't kill you makes you stronger. And this energy here, I just knocked down all my cards. And that's what this person was trying to do, was trying to block out, block, you know, blot out this connection. And this person is wise to, you know, wise enough to see now, you know, what they was doing. This is taking onus and accountability. As I said, with this red book, that definitely tells me that there is a sense of like, you know, some sort of like familial um, factors, you know, maybe uh, childhood traumas, but they are or were a product of their environment and they're looking back in reflection, you know, but there's also a sense of healing, you know, healing from past wounds, past traumas, but also becoming more awakened to the fact that I have to take care of me. I have to love me, you know, knowing what they want. And we have right now run DMC hard times. And so we have hard times. So this person definitely went through some hard times, went through some difficulties, but they're healing. They're in the process of healing. They're in the process of recuperating, rejuvenating their spirit. You know, this is an energy of, you know, looking back in awareness, as I said, and learning, you know, from the painful uh, circumstances. Next, we got the Queen of Pentacles. See that? So you got the Queen of Pentacles, Passion Ignited, and Earth Guardian. Look at this. You are very successful, very self-sufficient, independent. You have rebuilt whatever was destroyed initially, whatever was, you know, somebody was trying to throw at you to block your blessings. It's like you sitting here pretty. Look at you, unbothered. You know what I'm saying? And somebody's, like, desire is growing for you. Somebody's also going through some hard times for trying to fuck with you because you are the highest, most exalted one. And with this earth guardian, it's like you remained rooted and grounded. You did not allow anyone's fuckery or games or trickery to take you off your square, to throw you off. You're very abundant. You're a healer. And I feel like because you've healed thyself, you've learned, you know, you've also activated and triggered someone else's fire, someone else's passion. You know, their heart is awakened. It's like, you know, it's activated. Their heart chakra is activated. And as I said, with this earth angel he's also holding his heart so it's like you have you know some power that you possess your powerfully magically uh se magical self you've been able to activate someone and look at this the sun so the truth and clarity you know you got truth clarity happiness joy peace someone is going to see the truth why because you sent that transmission and they're coming out of those hard times. They're coming out of this mind fuckery, this anxiety, ruminating, pining, stressing. They're coming out of that. So this is stand your ground. So you're giving someone the truth, the light. And I feel like there's a lot of joy, happiness, and peace that's coming in for not only you, for your person. Because you've given them the light. It's like you're sending them the energy they need. Look at that. Victory came back out cannot make this up there's a victory ahead this is a major breakthrough this also is like you know you're receiving rewards and recognition from the divine the divine has acknowledged all the hard work so it's like the more you've worked on yourself the more you are now going to come into some level of success and you're going to have wish fulfillment you definitely are receiving a victory success happiness the sun came out twice three times in the reading three times because remember the sun is here as well so there's something very happy, something very joyful. You're going to be elated, Scorpios. You know, the sun, three times, you know. This is amazing. I, I can't make this shit up. So th things are opening up. Things are brightening up for you. There's a bright future. There's infinite supply. You're coming into a spiritual union. I feel because you've grown, you've matured, you've leveled up, you've elevated, you've activated. You've definitely triggered your person to do the same to the point where they're now they're going through their dark night of the soul process on the bottom of the deck we got the four of cups so some of you all are this is that longing you know but you cannot don't miss the opportunity the divine's hand is offering you this this cup this cup of love so don't sit around because remember also you know the divine said trust in the unknown so you may not have all the deets but I feel like you're going to be activated because somebody's trying to block, trying to block this connection. So trust in the unknown because your ancestors, angels, all of your guardians are here. Really, I mean, you got all of these guardians assisting you with this purpose. So stay, stay diligent, stay resilient, you know, stay on your square 
and definitely protect yourselves, protect yourselves, protect yourselves. Do spiritual baths. You already know how I feel about hyssop. Use um, sea salt. Um, definitely use cinnamon for attracting what you desire, honey, for attracting what you desire. You could use sugar even. Um, definitely um, burn your sages, burn your smudge kits, you know, frankincense and myrrh if you have it. Uh, dragon's blood is really good, a really good resin. If you have certain um, stones, definitely place like black tourmaline stones around your home in the corners of your home just to ward off negative energy to banish and purge any evil spirits entities smudge your mirrors turn your mirrors around if you have like a mirror that faces you in your room when you rest turn it around you know while you're resting uh, because somebody is up late at night conjuring up some shit during witching hours to interfere and to manipulate energy and definitely do reversal spells. I heard that strongly. Um, reversal spells for whatever anyone is throwing at you. Return that shit right on back to sender. Ashe. But thank you so much for tuning in, tapping. And I hope that this message resonates um, with you all. If you found that it did, please be kind. Hit the like, share, and subscribe button. Definitely hit the bell notification so that you know whenever I upload. If you are new, I hope you stay a while, beloveds. If you are returning, you already know what it is. Beloveds, love is love is love. I appreciate you all. I thank you all for your comments, for your likes, your shares. I thank you all just for tuning and tapping in. I want to give a shout out. I want to send major love and light. Uh, to another beautiful soul who sent me a cash app gift. Um, Karen Vanstein, thank you so much, my soul sister. I am humbled. I appreciate you. Thank you so much to all of you who tune in, tap in. I hope you have a beautiful weekend. Enjoy yourselves. Stay safe. Infinite love and life. Peace. Ashe.